Oh man, being stuck at home makes my hair really long. Maybe I'll have to cut it. Do you want to see me cut my hair? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, I tried avoiding doing plugin videos here because plugins are pretty simple. You just add it to your project and you'll read the documentation and you use it. But I'm starting to realize that not everybody knows about the different plugins that are out there for NativeScript or how to use them or how to get started. So I think it's actually going to be really helpful to start actually showing plugins that are really good that people can start using. And I happened to get this question on Twitter today from Armando. Thanks Armando for your question. He's asking, how do we get a custom keyboard in your native script applications? Well, we're gonna get to that, but I wanna start out with using a numeric keyboard. How do we even start out with a numeric keyboard? That's a good question too. So I've set up a couple of projects here and I'm running three different projects in my iOS simulators here. Just brand new projects created from a template, an Angular project, a Vue project, and a core project. So we're gonna do this in all three. They're all running at the same time. By the way, if you don't know how to run different projects at the same time in your iOS simulators, check out the video that I did recently about that. I'll link to it down below. If you wanna see Android, stay till the end. I'll show you Android at the end. So my core project is gonna have this blue shade in Visual Studio Code. I'm using the Peacock extension. My view project is gonna be green. And of course, my Angular project is gonna be red. Now there's nothing installed in these yet. They're brand new. So we're gonna go out and get some information here. Okay, on nativescript.com, I found this post by Eddie Verbruggen. And Eddie, everybody knows Eddie. He creates a lot of really high quality NativeScript plugins. He's the one that created the Firebase plugin and he's the one that extended the keyboard plugin to be able to support numeric text as well as custom extensions. So this article basically says that, yeah, you can have your text view and you can specify a keyboard type and in Android this works, but on iOS, specifying the keyboard type as phone gives you the phone dial, which is right. But if you specify your keyboard type as number, you still get the regular text input with letters and numbers. And we just want to see numbers there. We don't want to see all that. And that's really hard to do apparently in iOS. So Eddie created a plugin for it, of course. It's called NativeScript Numeric Keyboard. We're gonna install it. I'm gonna do NativeScript Core, NativeScript View, and NativeScript Angular all in this video. And you'll see how similar they are. There's only one line difference. First, I'm gonna terminate all my projects that are running right now. And then I will paste that line of code, the TNS plugin add code into every single one of these projects. Now that I've installed the plugin, I'm gonna start up my simulators again, different simulators for each one of these projects. And let's head over to the code. I'm gonna start off with NativeScript Core because that's gonna be the simplest one to implement. So let's open up our main page here. According to the documentation, you need to add the XML namespace to your page that's gonna use it. So I'm gonna add that right there. And this is the page. So I'm gonna add the namespace just like that. Next, we need to add the actual component. Copy that in and paste it right here underneath all those other components in the stack layout. Okay, let's check it out. I'm gonna open up my simulator and there it is. There's my core project. And look at that. <laughs> just like that, we get a numeric text box. So it's just a text field, but you get to enter the numbers using a number pad. You can click done, that dismisses it. If you focus inside of there, you get the numeric keyboard again. You can delete or you can just dismiss the keyboard like that. Okay, let's take care of view and Angular. So I'm gonna head over to my view project, open up the app folder, open up components, home. Okay, we'll do it somewhere in here. So let's check out the view documentation. Hey, look at that. Eddie, thanks for this documentation. You have a usage with view section. Very nice. Okay, so open main.ts or JS and add this line. This basically is gonna register that component with view. I'm gonna copy this. And let's head over to main file, which if you generate your native script view project using the native script CLI, you're going to get an app JS instead of main JS. That's fine. It's the same thing. So in here, I'm going to do view register numeric keyboard, and then we're going to require that module and point to the numeric keyboard view. Once we do that, we should just be able to use numeric keyboard view in our code. So let's go to home page. And instead of this grid layout, I'm gonna turn this into a stack layout so we can stack our components one on top of each other. 
and underneath the label, I'm going to use numeric keyboard view. Okay, let's see if that works. That may not be enough. Okay, so it didn't work the first time. I'm gonna restart my view application. Apparently my view app broke. So something must be missing. Well, the documentation says use numeric keyboard instead of numeric keyboard view. So I'm going to delete the view part. And yeah, that was my bad. So I registered the element with view and I called it numeric keyboard, not numeric keyboard view, of course. So we can't use numeric keyboard view. We have to use numeric keyboard here. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Our app starts up and there's our field. And of course we have our numeric keyboard, but for some reason it's allowing me to enter text into it. That's fine. You can probably stop that some other way. There's probably an option in there to prevent you from doing that. So that's good enough for me. Let's head to the Angular app. In the Angular app, I'm gonna open up my source folder, my app folder, and let's open up app component. Instead of this page router outlet, I'm just gonna do a uh, stack layout here. And this is where my numeric keyboard is gonna go. So I'm just gonna say numeric keyboard in here. And now, just like in view in Angular, we also need to register the element. And the documentation says, open app module and add either of these. It says when not using Webpack, you may use this instead. However, now every NativeScript project uses Webpack. So we actually have to use this line right here. I need to copy both of these lines because we need to import register element. Let's head over to app module and I paste in that code right here. So we're importing register element from NativeScript Angular and then we're using that to register NativeScript keyboard. Let's save that and take a look. And look at that, there is our Angular project with a numeric keyboard. So now we have numeric keyboards all around. All right, so for those that wanna see Android, thanks for sticking around. Here it is, check it out. Here's Android emulator, this is a Pixel 2. I have my keyboard that's numeric. We're using this control now, but on Android you don't have to do that. In fact, you can do this on Android. Text field, so I've just added another text field in there, pretty simple. On Android, we get the numeric one and then we have a regular text field. Now to turn the second one into a numeric field, all you have to do is just say keyboard type equals number. And look at this, booyah. So yeah, use either option for Android. On Android, just the standard text field will work with a numeric type. Nice plugin, Eddie, thank you very much. We'll also be taking a look at Eddie's other keyboard related plugin soon, and that's the custom UI keyboard. That's the one that extends the regular keyboard with your own custom UI, and we'll do that soon. So if you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.